All right. This is Mr. Voigt here. This is Intro to Industrial Tech. <clears throat> we are going to be making um, a drawing today. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it on Autodesk AutoCAD. And hopefully you can follow along if you get stuck. But you, I'm going to show you how to do this. So it's going to be this drawing right here. Um, it tells you, it gives you suggestions. Put your grid at 0.5 and your snap at 0.25, and you should be able to do this drawing without a whole lot of trouble. What will happen is the centers of these circles will fall on points that you can snap to in the corners of these rectangles. Okay. I also have on the back of it a grid, so you know how long these are. If your grid is 0.5, which is what it says here, each one of these squares is going to be a half of an inch long. So that line right there will be an inch long. That's a half an inch, half an inch, inch and a half, and so forth. Now you don't know how long these diagonals are, but you don't need to know because all you're going to be doing is snapping. Okay, so I'm going to turn this video off for now. And um, actually, I wonder if I can shrink it even further. I think I can. So I'm just going to kind of put this up in the corner. Put that up here because I don't think I need it. But this is what I'm drawing. All right. So I'm just going to start with with my line command. Oh, that goes out of there. And remember, down here I told you guys, let's not have these on right now. This is your dynamic input. We'll go ahead and leave. Yesterday when I couldn't figure out how to put my dynamic input on, it's right here. This is new. They didn't used to have this button here. But anyway, and we are going to be in here. We're going to set our snap mode. We're going to set our snap, and we're going to set our settings at a half inch for our grid spacing. And it suggested 0.25 here. And you should be ready to roll. Okay, if I put my line command on, it doesn't matter where I start. Okay, uh, my snap mode. Let me just make sure you got to be on grid snap too. So when I come up here, see how it snaps? to the 0.5, it goes, so the grid is set up at 0.5, and I'm snapping in between each one of those lines right in the middle. So it doesn't matter where I start this. Um, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and start right here. It doesn't have to be, like when you were doing this before, this would have been 0, 6, right, this point. Well, I don't, I don't have to start there. I just need to know how long each line is and where I go in relation to the other one. So I'm just going to start. Anywhere in here, I'm going to start right here, okay? And it gives me a line. And I know <clears throat> that this line right here is, because it's three of these squares, is an inch and a half long, okay? So when I come over here, I go one, two, three. I do my first line. On that, my I come over, I draw my other line, and then I go down one. Then I go over one. This is how easy this is. Then... Uh, this one's a little trickier. I'll go ahead and show you. So what I've drawn so far is I went up, over, and down, and then here. So now i got to draw this diagonal. So i got to count how many over to go this way and how many to go up that way. Okay. So I'm going to count here. So this is boxes. One, two, three, four, five over to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six up. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six up. So, if I come back here, if I go, now remember, five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's right there, six. Okay. And then if I look at my drawing, I go one up. Then I go one and a half in. Then I go Half up, half over, one up. So just like this. And I'm not going to necessarily see how I start getting the shape here. Then I got to do my diagonal again. So I got to count again. To the left, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. And up, I should go one, two, three, four, five. Six over, five up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. 
Okay, then I'm one over, inch and a half down, that would be three, half inch over, half inch up, one inch over, which is right there. Now I got to do another diagonal, right? I bet it's five and six. You just got to get the proportions right. So we're going down one, one, two, three, four, five, down six over five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, right? Like that. Then I'm down one in one and a half, down one. See how my dynamic input really makes it easier? Up one, or to the left one, this way, one. I'm sorry. I went one half here, one half here. I said it wrong, and then I'm down one. And then I should be able to come down to here. I shouldn't have to count this one. And then I come across one. And then I hit escape. That looks symmetrical. Uh, or does it? It does not. See up here, I went, I don't know what happened here. Something's goofy. I went too high. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over. Or six. I went, let me think. Let me count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two over. I must have gone six up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I went six and six. So this is wrong right here. So that line is wrong. That line is wrong. And that line is wrong. So what I got to do is go back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm getting this wrong each time. So these are not fail safe, right? There are actually easier methods than this. I just gotta show them to you. So let me count these again. I'm gonna switch over to my to my video. I'm right here, so I got to count over one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So I had it backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I was just going backwards. I was going six. Something's not right, though, because that should go over two, right? Look at my pattern. Then I should go down three, which means this is not good. I must have messed it up bad, guys. Not a good way to show you on your video, is it? So all this might just be gone. So we're going to go ahead and do this again. We're going to go from here, over one, up one, over two. So that's actually half inch, half inch, one inch, right? Then we got to come this way. So I'm going to go ahead and count that. I'm down one, two, three, four, five. So I got to go six down. There's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two this way. Three. One, one. Just like that, right? And then we come this way. And we should be able to just connect those. Now that looks symmetrical. So you see I noticed a mistake and I went in and fixed it. So then what you do is you go to circle. We're going to go circle radius. And if you look over on, your, on the front of your page here, these circles. Um, 
they don't tell you how big they are except for the fact that you can tell, tell by what they do. So this is going to be a radius of one because it goes from here to here. This is going to be a radius of, of one half because it goes from the half of that block to the half. So it's basically one block wide. Each block is a half inch, right? So these small ones are half inch radiuses. These are one inch radiuses. And so all you're going to do is go in there and you're going to go radius and I can find my center, right? So I got to be able to find the center of this. If I have to, I count. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Is that right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and count on my paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 18. So I'm going to come in 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right there is going to be my center. I'm going to do a half inch, 0.5. And it draws. That's a 1 inch. I don't know why it did 0.5. Because I did radius instead of diameter. If I come up here. My diameter is going to be 0.5. There we go. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. Now that I have that drawn, I'm going to go ahead and draw a bigger one. So I have one that is one, one up from this corner right here, one up, and two over. And it's a one. Just like that. So now that I have one of each of these drawn, I can hit escape and I highlight it and I can say copy. And then I got to click right in the middle of it and I can move a copy where I want. So one's going to go there, one's going to go there. If you look on your paper, this I'm copying what's on my paper. All right. So one goes there. I'm going to copy this one right in the center. I come down one, two, over one. Down here, I come over one, two, down one. Like that. Down here, I come over one, up two, over one, up two. Just like that. Then I can take this and I can copy it where it needs to go, where they need to go. And those are easy. They just go on those right like that and right like that. Okay, once you get done with that, you got to draw some rectangles in here. So I like to use this command right here. It's called the rectangle command, and they want you to start right here. They want you to go one over, and they want you to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down. So there's four, five, six, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, just like that. And what you can do with that, once I get it drawn, highlight it. Oh, yeah. I don't really want to copy this. Hmm. It's probably best just to draw this four times. That's going to be the easiest on this particular drawing. I got to go right here like that. And then right here, and you can see there's a pattern here, right? Look where they fill in. Just like that. So you're using your dynamic input. You're using your, your snap, your grid snap, and you're getting these things placed where they belong. It requires some counting, but you don't have to type each one of those things in there. So see if you can get that done, guys. All right, great.